My name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. AppsEvents.com, the place where you can find tips and tricks that you can use in the classroom. So let's add another one to it. In today's video, we're going to jump back into Gmail. And in a previous video, I've very briefly mentioned the multiple inbox type of inbox that you can have in Gmail. So this video is all about how you can set up your multiple inboxes and I'm going to show you one way of using this inbox type. So let's get started. Here in my inbox you can see I've already dealt with all my emails that have come in. I've assigned them a label and here on the left hand side you can see some of these labels. I have action labels, things I need to action. I have Canva label, I have demo emails, notes, schoolwork, all different labels. But as I've dealt with these, it's possible to lose track of this and I don't want to manually go into that action label every single time to see what I need to action. So multiple inboxes is the best way for you to keep track of this. Let's go ahead and set it up. We're going to open up our settings and click on see all settings. Here in the inbox tab, you can select the multiple inboxes type. Now, as you can see here, I can set up five different search queries in order to create five additional inboxes. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to create our first inbox and this will be the inbox with all the emails that have been labeled action because I have this action label here on the left hand side. If you haven't created your labels yet, go ahead and click on plus and create those labels first. I'm going to type L for label, then a colon, and I'm going to type the title of that label. So action, I'm going to give it a name to action. We're going to have a second section. This is a second inbox, and this will be all the emails that have been labeled waiting. So I'm waiting for someone to send me the answer, waiting for someone to follow up. So let's go ahead and type L colon, and I'm going to type waiting awaiting a response. Okay. Third one, this will be anything related to schoolwork. So I have this label here that says schoolwork. Now I'm not using the sub labels. You have English and maths and you can create multiple nested labels. I'm going to use the main schoolwork label. So I'm going to type L colon and then schoolwork. I'm going to just add school related emails. And then section four, let's say that this is my notes. I want easy access to my notes. So let's go ahead and add label notes. Label notes, and then these will be my notes. Now, before you click on save, do scroll down and let's have a look at the other options here. We show 15 conversations for the page. Okay, that's a good number, I'm going to leave that. And then we have the option of showing our multiple inboxes to the right top or underneath at the bottom. Now, if you have a single or maybe two multiple inboxes, top, bottom works great. But in my case, I've set up four additional multiple inboxes. I'm going to use right of the inbox. We're not going to show markers and I'm not going to override filters. Let's go ahead and click on save changes. And there you go, you can already see those multiple inboxes in action. On the left hand side, this is my general inbox messages I have not dealt with. I open those messages, assign labels, archive or delete, and then they will appear on the right hand side in my multiple inboxes. You can make this a little bit bigger. And here you will see I have a to action inbox. I can close this for now. I have all my school related emails, I can close this and I have all my notes, I can close this. This gives me so much more real estate within my Gmail to work with multiple labels at the same time. A great way for you to stay productive and make sure that you're never missing any of the important messages that were sent to you or so you can make sure you follow up when you have to follow up. I hope you found this helpful. My name is Seti. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.